Hello again, everyone. It's Ari, and this is day two of the playthrough of We Were Here Together that I'm trying with Jar of Jam. Uh, we started this yesterday. We got through the first few puzzles, and now it's the next day. Jam is getting ready to stream. He's going to send me an invitation in a moment to join his game, and we're going to see if we can solve another puzzle or two. My brain is very tired from yesterday, <laughs> so we'll see how well this goes. Uh, wish me luck. All right, I finally got an invite. Stream's been live for like eight minutes. Play game. Yes. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Jam. Secret Foxfire. Jam. Ari Larev. Uh, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm falling asleep over here. We need to we need to go. Yeah, come on. Milk's gonna gotcha. spoil. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna wave. Every single time, I'm so sorry. I keep pressing the pointy button over. <laughs> A good exchange there. Yep. Yes, it's me who is pressing the pointy button over. Uh, we're going this way? Is it this way? Uh, no, it's the other way around. It's over. But how can you be sure? Uh, because this seems oddly familiar. Over. <laughs> That was a test, Jim. I was just testing you to make sure that you uh, were paying attention and remembered what we had done. Over. I didn't actually look up at this last time. So it's cool. uh, my memory isn't that bad. Over. I'm just gonna do this again. Uh... <laughs> I was really wondering where you're gonna respawn. Apparently, it's here. Over. Same place as last time, same place as last time. I didn't really notice this beautiful ruined castle up on the hill here last time, over. Well, I do believe that's exactly where we're going to be heading, most likely with the help of uh, potentially a bridge there we're going to raise, some sort of a uh, misty bridge, over. I'm going to see if the bridge is invisible. It's a trust, it's a trust thing. Ah! Jam, it wasn't a trust thing, over. No, 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 no trust falls here. So to, please do not fall anymore. If, if the insurance bill is going to be humongous, over. Jam, there's stuff in here, over. Yeah, Sounds we've been here before and you were uh, begging me to stop the stream last time before you start pulling levers and doing things, over. Jam, there's a lever, I'm going to pull it, over. Ooh. Ooh. Over. Ooh. Over. That's exactly what I said. Ooh. Over. I was agreeing with you. Over. So, hmm. I think one of these symbols, there was a star, like the one in the middle, I think, was what was on that platform you were respawning on. So, what else can you do? Over. Well, Jam, given that this is a two-player game where we have asymmetrical information and we have to work together, I'm guessing that if one of us fiddles with this, something somewhere will probably change. Over. Uh, I will uh, revisit the bridge then. Over. All right, I'm going to start messing with stuff. You tell me if anything happens. Over. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, immediately, there is now a new section to the bridge. So it starts with a star. Uh, that's the, I think, eight-pointed star. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, uh, but it's like prolonged on 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 one side, and there's now a circle surrounded by smaller circles. I'm dead. Over. <laughs> Did the circle surrounded by smaller smirkles dis smirkles? I'm gonna go with that. Did the smirkle surrounded by smaller smirkles disappear? Over. Yes, with me on it. Over. Listen, Jan, we have to touch stuff to figure out what happens. Is it now back? Over. It is now back, and I'm staying the heck away from it for, for the time being. Over. Jan, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to die. Um, how does it look like now? Is there now one with two circles on it? Over? Like overlapping circles? Over. Uh, nope. Still the same situation. Star and then circles surrounded by smirkles. Over. Alright, Jan, you let me know if anything changes. Over. Keep keep on doing the things you're doing. Over. Didn't do anything. Wish we had. 
had some kind of feedback. Anything at all, Jeff? Over. Not a single thing. That's why I'm being quiet. Over. The one with the circle surrounded by circles is still there. Over. It is still there. Has not gone away. Over. That's fascinating because I moved it. Um, maybe you need to be standing on something. Over. Interesting. Okay, so as it stands, uh, the moment I walked on it, it fell down. Over. Uh, actually, let me try again. It is back. Uh, let me see if now it won't fall over. Over. Uh, Jam, I think when you uh, when you fell down, um, all of the board that I have here reset, and now there is a line from the eight-pointed star to the sun. Over. Yes, uh, this also uh, indicates the fact that now the uh, circle with more circles around it is now stable, and now the next thing is on. It is a uh, crescent moon pointing right over. Oh, and also just noticed that the next part of the bridge has locked, so whatever you just did was correct over. I just moved the crescent moon in line. Do you have an indication of what the next thing should be? Over? Uh, yes, it is a planet with a ring around it, like Saturn or Jupiter. Let's over. It is now three stars. Over. I think we got it. That was a lot simpler than I expected. Interesting. It is now has d diverged. One of them is like a vortex. The other one is a meteor. Over. I'm going to come take a look, Jan, because there's not really anything else I can do here right now. Over. Unfortunately, the bridge is now out. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, wait, wait a minute. How does this work? Over. <laughs> I'm trying to freaking figure out, dude. So the bridge started uh, deconstructing behind me as I walked forward, but now it's reconstructing itself back over. Whoa, oh, I just like that, over. Hmm. It. Jim, it looks to me like uh, you have to be standing on it and that it only keeps up the ones that are next to where someone is standing. However, we seem to have crossed the bridge, so I think we're all set, over. Uh, no, we haven't, over. Uh huh. I see. All right, uh, I'm gonna need to go back then, and uh, presumably continue the bridge from that point. So yeah, but um, it is all going downhill very fast. Over. It is not going downhill, Jam. Uh, we are immortal. It only takes about three seconds to respawn. What we have learned here is that when somebody stop pointing at me, it's very rude. When somebody walks across the bridge, it only kind of loads up the spaces that are next to them. So I think I need to guide you according to uh, which spaces I have on the board with those symbols on them. So let me head back in. Over. Let's try that over. Alright. So Jam, see if you can cross- oh, hold on, it's, it's reloading itself. Um, let me just move things back where they were. All right, see if you can cross all the way to the other side. Over. Also, Jim, if you could let me know... Uh, if you could let me know which ones you are standing on at any given point, it's giving me more information here. It's lighting up sections, so if I know where you're standing, that can also help me. Over. Would you, would you like me to do this from the very start, then? Over? Just let, let me know where you are now. Over. Uh, the initial star with two very pointy sides over. So you're at the very start of the bridge then, over. Yeah, I've just moved to the uh, circle surrounded by schmerkels, over. Jim, can we please agree to call those the star and the sun, over? Uh, the star and the sun, over. What, what, what are you doing now, over? Uh, I've just moved to the Crescent Moon, over. Hey, Jam, do you remember um, about 30 seconds ago where I was like, please let me know where you're going as you go, over? It's not a good communicator, this guy. But it's lit up. I'm just not going to say anything, over. 
I would appreciate if you would say something, for example, if you could describe where you are and where you're standing and what you're doing. Over. Mm. Make it very right. difficult. I'm standing on a crescent moon. I'm, I'm, I'm about to go to the planet surrounded by a ring. Over. Jim, if we can just call that one the planet, I think that will be enough. Over. Sure. I'm going from the planet to the tree stars. Over. Tree stars. So whichever one he's standing on has lights going to either side. I'm now at the cross point, and I need to choose a side either with a vortex or with a meteor. Over. Jim, why don't you go ahead and stand in the meteor and see what happens. Over. It falls down. Over. Interesting. Interesting. It also resets my board. Uh, next time, I'll set it back how it was. There we go. Doesn't take very much, actually. Uh, wait. Actually, let me see if I can do it that way. Um, I've just set the pieces in a slightly different order. Why don't you tell me what happens now? Over. Okay, coming from a star to star and its sisters. Uh, I already forgot the name for it, over. From a star and its friends to the crescent moon, over. Jim, it's not a star with its friend, it's a sun. It's a very simple sun that a child might draw. Over. But why does it have circles around? Why, like, usually it's rays, right? It's not circles around the sun, right? Over. Jim, I, I don't know how to respond to this. I, I don't know if there's anyone uh, being talkative in your chat right now, but that looks very clearly to me like a stylized sun. Over. So what I think is going to need to happen is I'm going to need to move this one so we can make a longer hey, chain. I've asked the chat. Now I am standing on the crescent moon and moving towards the planet. <laughs> Great. So what happens chat here. is very unhelpfully saying both. That it both looks like a stylized sun from your perspective and from my perspective. Over. What? Where are you standing now, Jam? Over. I'm standing on the planet, and I see that the three stars are not locked in. Over. Um. All right, why don't you go back to the start for me, um, and please narrate exactly where you are stepping at all times. I really need to know where where you're going exactly. Over. Uh... Well, I was He's hoping I was doing exactly that, but I'll try to do my best right now. Over. Go on. Alrighty, let's start. I am on the initial star with the very uh, extended uh, sides, uh, moving to I the to... sun. Over. Oh, no. Nope. Jam, you can you can just say the star. Really, you're you're providing almost the least helpful information you could possibly provide in detail while skipping the details I actually need. Please do not step on the bridge yet. I'm gonna try something uh, moving these pieces around. Hold on one moment. Over. Sure thing. Over. So it looks like it has to be in that order. Star then sun. Oh, I can't move the star. Interesting. Do this. I can move the this out of the way. And I can move the sun there. The moon there. The planet there. And that'll lead him up that way, but that doesn't really help, does it? Well, let's give it a try out. Hopefully he'll actually describe what he's doing at all times this time. All right, Jim, I've set it up very slightly differently. I'm not sure if it's going to help, but can you please cross the bridge and please describe exactly what you're stepping on every single time you move? Over. Okay, I'm doing just that. Are you ready? Over. Go for it. Over. Star. The sun. So simple. Crescent moon. Just the moon. Moon is enough. Planet. Uh, I will say over because I want to hear if you want to say something as well. Over. You're all good. This is exactly what I needed. Please continue. Over. 
three stars over which side do you want me to go for vortex or meteorite over uh, go for the galaxy one please over heading over there i am on the galaxy over has anything changed is there anywhere for you to go over uh negative over is there any indication of what symbol needs to be next over no clue there's no sec uh, no next portion over okay uh, all right please do not stand on the vortex please stand on the solid ground i am going to move some other stuff around and you tell me uh what what happens over uh, roger roger over Jim, are you standing on solid ground, or are you standing in the three stars? Over. Uh, well, do, do you want me to completely return back to the very start? Over. I'm currently standing on the th uh, that three pronged uh, uh, staircase. Over. Uh, wasn't there like some bit of solid ground in the middle before? Over. Mm, well, I'm I'm sort of ish. After the three stars, but before Vortex, or Galaxy, or Meteorite, so I'm in the middle between those two, over. Right, so what I'm trying to confirm is, are you standing on a piece that moves up and down, or are you standing on something that is permanently there, over? Uh, I would say, I, I think the staircase moves up and down, so the former, over. Hmm. I wish I could see what you're looking at. Uh, maybe... So, are you standing on the thing which is labeled with three stars? Over. Uh, technically, yeah. I would. I would say this is the piece that is the three star piece. Over. Okay, that's what I needed to know. So, I'm gonna move the planet piece. Tell me if anything happens. Over. So, everything's still the same. Over. Yeah, I was, I was looking at the locks, and it still seems to be attached to the three stars over. All right. I'm now going to move the three stars, and we'll see what happens over. Nothing happened? Over? Uh, the galaxy has detached itself from three stars over. Okay. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to move a couple more pieces. Please stay right where you are, over. So if I move this uh, here, Roger, I do suggest going the meteorite way. Uh, this seems to be the way to go, over. It's not quite that simple. I have to move these pieces around, and there's only very limited ways I can move them. I'm trying to see if I can make a path using the pieces that are here, so give me a moment, over. This one here. This one here. And then I can move the meteor, the comet, there. Okay, Jam, I now have moved the pieces so that the comet, or meteor as you call it, is connected to the three stars. Can you stand on the comet now, please? Over. Uh, Roger, I am standing on the comet. Okay. Uh, the next piece is two planets. Over. Alright, I can do that. All right, Jam, I've just moved the two planets, so it should be connected. Over. Standing on two planets, the next piece is Crescent Moon pointing down. Over. <laughs> Locked. Uh, it actually already locked, so I'm moving to the Crescent Moon pointing down. Over. And the sun. Oh, I hope that's the last one, otherwise we're... And it's our friend, the sun. Over. Okay. All right, if you're... Can you go ahead and walk onto the sun and then tell me what happens? Over. I can uh, this might fall down over. Uh, yeah, it is not connected to the final piece to the to the bridge, which I'm not sure if it should be, but I suppose it should be over. The sun is at a dead end here, and I'm not sure how I can connect it in any other way. Um, give me a moment. To stay right on the moon, I guess. Over. Uh, it is the sun. Over. Before the sun was the moon. Please stand on the moon now. Over. Move it back, over. This guy, I'm gonna kill him. Please remain standing on the moon uh, while I move some pieces around, over. 
please keep your hands and feet inside the moon at all times. Thank Actually, you. Oh, because feet. Damn, I can't remember if this is going to mess you up, but I can't see anything else to try, so just stay right where you are, over. Move this. And if I fall, I fall, over. And then I should move the moon. Are you still safe on the moon, over? Uh, Roger, but the sun has detached over. Yes, I know. That's fine. Okay. That is what I expected. Um... I need to, I, I need to figure out what the sun needs to attach to, and it's really there's really very little room to move stuff around. So give me a moment, over. Mm, if if you don't mind starting over, I might have just panicked for no reason. I can move from the sun anyway, from that almost final position that we had previously, over. Jim, if you think it's safe, if you want to go and stand in the sun and just if it'll tell you what it needs to be connected to, that would be very helpful, over. Uh, the, the next one is blank. Like, either it's, it needs to be an empty spot, if that's even possible on your thing, or I can just walk over. So if you want me to take a risk, I'll, I'll do that over. I wish I could see what you're talking about. Is there a piece of bridge between you and the end over? Correct, and it's not connected to what I'm standing on right now. That's why I'm having the doubt. But it has no icon on it. It's like torn out, that, that piece. So unless you have a final piece that you never have connected me to, Maybe I can just walk over, over. There's a couple possibilities here. Let me just uh, stay where you are on the sun, and I'll move and see what I can attach the sun to, and we'll see how it goes, over. Actually, I think it's the same, same one as before. So I think if I move the sun here, it'll be attached to the star. Wrong lever! Crap. I'm not sure what it is that causes it to fall. Over. Oh, I would assume it not being connected to uh, two pieces uh, on each side of it. Over. That's probably it. Well, they're often not connected to two pieces, but I guess maybe if it's not attached to any pieces, then it falls over. Uh, also, fair bit of warning. I'm entering your room right now. Over. Huh? Jam, are we are we gonna finish the puzzle or what? What are we doing here? Over. Uh, I just wanted to double check. Uh, nope, you. Yeah, over. <laughs> Jam, why don't you go ahead and cross the first bridge? We at least know that much. Over. Oh, Alrighty, I'm on the first bridge. Uh, the star, the sun, the crescent moon. The planet, the three stars, over. All right, that's what we figured out before. Was that, actually, you know what? I do believe the uh, galaxy is now locked and we need the comet, over. I'll move this all the way to the end. That'll give me lots of space. Back to the comet. Apologies, I was not expecting the comet to detach itself after you've attached it. Sorry, over. I thought you were standing on the three stars, over. Uh, I was, and then I saw you connecting the comet, and I thought, there's my chance, over. <laughs> Jam, if you could please wait for instructions. You may now cross the first bridge to the three stars, and then please stay there, over. This freaking guy. On it, over. He wants to solve everything by himself. He wants to solve everything by himself. He thinks he knows what he's doing. I have arrived to three stars. Over. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Please remain there and await further instructions. Over. How come three stars seems to be able to move? Roger, roger. Over. Without being attached to anything. I move this. It's not attached to anything. Huh. Jam, I'm not sure why that is happening. When I move the comet, it resets and presumably sends you back to the start. 
but I haven't touched anything with the one that you're standing on, so I'm now very confused, over. Uh, indeed, I just fell off the three stars, over. Yeah, I figured. We can do this. Go ahead and cross back to the three stars, over. On my way there, over. Jam, do you remember which one you had to step on after the comet over? Uh, it was two planets, if I'm not mistaken, over. This one. All right, Jam, please remain uh, where you are in the three stars, over. We're waiting for your further instructions, over. Take that. That. There. That's fine, for some reason. This is an issue. I need to get... Moon and then the sun. How do, how do I do that? Oh, I know. Tuck the moon in there. This one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. All right, Jam. Uh, if you can step from the the three stars onto the comet, I'm still not sure if I've got this set up entirely right, but we'll see how it goes. Over. I have reached the comet, and I'm stepping on two planets. Over. All right, from there. You should be able to step onto the moon, over. Uh, doing just that, over. I'm on the moon, over. The next one is the sun. It's also locked. I'm stepping on the sun, over. So, I'm not sure which one needs to go at the end here. And I think if I move the sun, which can't be attached to anything but the moon right now, that you're going to fall. You said there is another piece of bridge after the sun, correct, Over? Correct. It is uh, nondescript. There is no panel as on before bridges, and I feel like I can just cross it. The only problem is it's not attached to the current bridge, and that's what gives me the heebie-jeebies. But it looks sturdy enough and far in enough that I can potentially cross it over. Jamie, yeah, might as well try it, and we'll, if it, the worst-case scenario is you'll fall and we'll learn something, Over. I didn't fall. Over. Has it reset? Can you cro now cross all the way to the other side? Over. I am on the other side. Over. That's great, Jam. Is there something you can do over there? Because I'm still stuck over here. Over. I'm looking for it as we speak. Over. There's gotta be, uh... All this time you could've just walked across. There must be a lever or something that locks the bridge into place. Jam, we, if you remember, we talked about... Hey, there we go. We talked about communication. If you can tell me what you see when you get to a new place. Uh, the bridge appears to be all set now. I'm coming over. This guy. I am telling you all, this guy. Well, there wasn't that much to tell you about. There was a locked door, and there was a thing that I just activated. Over. See, but I didn't know that. You can, you can, you know, you can tell me these things as you go. Where are you now? Over. I uh, see that tall tower, uh, like straight ahead from the bridge. Over. The whole point of the game is to communicate. I am now coming up the steps. There appears to I appear to have gone up the wrong set of steps. I'm going around the other way. Hopefully, I'll be there in a moment. Over. No. Uh, Jam, it does not appear to want to let me up here. Over. Point at you. My sons! Over. That was helpful. I'm gonna go look around. 